Hey friends, today is the day we are finally back in Disney World. It is July 7th, it's the cast member previews and somebody invited me to come as their guest. So here we are at Animal Kingdom. Let's go do this. And here is the temperature screening tents and the brand new security checkpoint. Look at that, it's pushed all the way back, like way closer than it was before. I'm excited to go through that. Pep me up. Awesome, have a great time. Thank you. I wasn't sure if I can show you because Disney doesn't like their security checkpoints being filmed. So right behind me is the new security checkpoint and you kind of walk through it like a metal detector. It was really, really easy and convenient and I'm so happy that they're doing that now instead of just the uh, random selections. So basically if you're coming through, everyone's gonna go through a metal detector and I think that's the safest thing you can do. This is where the security checkpoints used to be. Look at all that open space. This is beautiful. I love the new entrance of Animal Kingdom. Photo pass photographers are out doing their thing in front of the Animal Kingdom sign. And wow, it is so beautiful to be back. Every couple minutes or so, a little announcement comes on reminding everyone to keep their face mask on and to practice social distancing. For the health and safety of everyone, please wear a face covering. Wash your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing and maintain physical distancing. Thank you for your cooperation. Look at all these social distance markers for the turnstiles here. Now I'm heading up and the one thing that I'm probably most excited for is to see the tree of life. Oh, finally being able to see that tree. Look at this, no crowds. Oh, it's just so beautiful to be back into a park. This is a great, great feeling right now. I am just overly excited to be back actually here. And look who's with me. Hey! Jackie! Super enthused, are you excited? Ah, oh my gosh, I am a wilderness explorer. That's how excited I am. Wow, let's go have a wild time. Ah! And I think the first thing we're gonna do is head to Pandora, check on Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey. It's such a beautiful area over there. I'm excited just to see it. Look at all of the social distance markers for the photo op opportunities right here. Wow. And I'm gonna assume because of the current situation, there's no touching, no rubbing on that. Oh wow, there it is, the floating mountains. We're gonna head right over to Flight of Passage because I believe it's only a 10 minute wait. Yep, only 10 minutes. What an amazing thing. And how cool is it that the first ride we are riding is Flight of Passage. I, I Our first ride back, it. Flight of Passage. <laughs> plenty and plenty of markers and we haven't even gotten inside. I bet you this queue probably has the most actual six feet separation points i have not been in the standby queue for flight of passage probably since the annual pass holder preview but would you look at this i don't think i've ever seen the queue like this even during the annual pass holder preview this is pretty amazing not sure if you can tell the glass separators oh, here yeah. look at that yeah, please do not touch them though and they separate the queue Wow, this is great. Just being able to see this without any major crowds is astonishing. Like honestly. Look, some more separators right here. And nobody's in front of us. We're actually gonna walk on Flight of Passage. Wow, this is really cool. Lots of separation signs. Thank you. So Third we're actually in the second pre-show room because of social distancing. Avatar, you can't actually nature. line up in the other Your room. These are the places where and you have to stand. Moore, no longer Stanley are those little one, two, three, four, and five. So there's only three groups in here. 
just got off Flight of Passage. It was phenomenal like usual. They still have the water effects happening. And it's kind of strange because at Universal you usually sanitize before, but here they didn't have you sanitize. Like a cast member wasn't there sanitizing your hands. They had sanitizer on the outside and then they have sanitizer as soon as you exit. Pretty nifty. It's also amazing to point out that they are socially distancing the parties on the ride itself. So we sat and then there was a space in between the next party. So at least they're practicing that habit. I think now we're gonna actually head on over to Africa and check out the safari because that's definitely on the list of things that has to get done today. Before we actually go, we're gonna head to Satuli Canteen, but you have to place a mobile order first and then go in and pick it up. So that's what we're gonna do. And all you gotta do is just scan the QR code just like that, so you guys can actually scan it if you want to. And then it'll pop up and that's where we are. Look at that. Our order is all placed. Right now we're just gonna grab some beers. But as you wait, they let you sit underneath the covered area. And then when you're ready, you go right inside and just show them, hey, it says I'm ready to pick up my order. And once you get inside, you get to take your mask off, just sit down in the AC, enjoy your food or beverage. We got the beverage here. And uh, just kind of relax for a second and enjoy. I love Satuli Canteen. I love the roast beef here. All finished with our drinks and now it's time we head to Africa. Check out the safari and enjoy the rest of the park. I had to switch out to my backup mask because my Animal Kingdom animal print one, the little strap broke. So now I'm goofy for the day. Walking on the pathway in between Africa and Pandora, they have tons of social distance stickers. But what is it for? Yep. Maybe it's going to be for Flight of Passage. Yeah. Maybe, because you know, so many distance and Flight of Passage is known to back up, yeah. but this far, you think? Yeah. Festival of the Lion King isn't running today, but they have tons and tons of extended queue because you know it actually gets very crowded in that area right there. Oh wow, look at all of this open space over here. I'm sure it's going to be a while before we see any cool festivities happening on the main stage. And actually, the Dawa bar probably won't open until the actual alcohol ban is lifted here in Orange County. So that makes it a little interesting. One of my favorite places to grab a drink. Most of the stands and gift shops are actually open, but we're going to head right on into Kilimanjaro's because it's only a five minute wait. And we're gonna have to sanitize prior. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Simba one. More separators in between fast pass and standby. Makes it very convenient. Another sanitation spot. And then look at all the separators here. Oh, and we're all separated here. Look at this. Interesting. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what? So there are these. And we are luckily enough to be able to take our face mask. They actually tell you you can remove them uh, because they have these safety separators. Oh, black rhino just sitting right there, Jackie. I don't see him. Where is he? Straight ahead. Oh, he's right there. I see him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a big group of hippos. Look at that. It's a bloat of hippos. These separators make it very hard to actually take photos, especially if you're sitting in the middle. Six feet tall. Look at those giraffes. Oh, this giraffe got lost. Oh my gosh, what's he doing? <laughs> How cute! I think that is the closest I've ever seen an elephant on here. Oh, there's another one right there, too. Wow. Wow, it's really a treat when you catch the lions walking around here on Kilimanjaro. It really is. There they are. It is a Bontabok. This is amazing. 
and you can see in between actually people loading they come through and sanitize each row of Simbas they tell you as soon as you get up to actually put your mask back on so now we're ready to move along good to point out that the exploration trails are open so you can actually walk your way through see some animals Kilimanjaro Safaris was fantastic and I have a feeling it's going to be a very popular ride because there's not many rides where you can actually ride without wearing your face mask. Actually, I don't know any of them. So that's going to be a very popular ride, especially just to get some relief. You know what I mean? Looks like the Harambe market is not open. I don't know if that's just because it's cast previews or if they're just limiting the amount of food service areas. Maybe that's what it could be, you know? I think our next journey is going to be on over to Asia in Expedition Everest. But before we get there, I want to see if they have a face mask relief station. So a designated area where you can just take your mask off, sit down and enjoy. I know there's two in this park, but I know one's in Asia, maybe by the up area and the other one I'm not sure. So we're going to keep an eye out for that on our trip over. Oh, look at Jackie getting a nifty photo pass spot right here. And if you feel like you need like immediate relief from the face mask and you can't make it to one of those stations, there's plenty of little paths all around Discovery Island where you can just tuck off. And even the cast members will tell you, as long as you're socially distancing, you can just step to the side, take your mask off and take a breather. I'm gonna show you probably my favorite spot actually that you can do this at. Right up here, this used to be an actual smoking spot, but there's a little picnic area with fans and tables, and it's a little covered area. I think this is an excellent place because nobody comes up here anymore. Right over here, look at that. Some beautiful fans blowing. A very nice spot. But here is that relaxation station here and now across the way from up. Look at that. It's a good spot, actually. It's beautiful, it's covered. Very nice. We were gonna make an attempt to ride Expedition Everest, but there is a very nasty storm coming in behind us. And we're gonna get some rain, but it's already lightning in the area. So they closed Expedition Everest temporarily. So instead, we're gonna try to get on Dinosaur. It is getting real bad out. Holy moly. A lot of people are starting to panic getting the cover from the storm that's about to hit. Like, oh yeah, the wind is really blowing now. It's coming. Yeah. Did you hear that? It's raining. Nate, oh. It's raining. oh no, we gotta make it to Dinosaur. Everybody run. Oh boy! We made it. I don't think we're soaked. That's not bad. I'd rather be waiting in here. And we did make it to Dinosaur, but long story. So I lost my phone running to Dinosaur. Uh, it was I was trying to get out of the rain. My phone plopped out of my pocket. And uh, as I was in line for Dinosaur, I was like, where's my phone? So I immediately panicked. I handed Jackie my camera and I was like, hey. So I'm gonna show you the video Jackie actually took from my camera on the ride. And then I wrote it after. Let's go get that dino. Yeah! What are you tracking? Uh, Not our Warning. Your shower in range. Just a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Jackie probably did a fantastic job recording it. I got to ride uh, right afterwards. Like she got off the vehicle and I started loading on, but I'm just happy I found my phone. And now all the rain is gone. 
but unfortunately the damage is done already uh, I am soaking wet my shoes are soaking wet I'm destroyed for this evening so I think I'm gonna call it a day it was great I'm so happy to be back at Disney I do have to go to work so that's why I have to leave early but I'm just happy I was here while I was here I'm happy you were here too Nate yeah thank you so much for inviting me ma'am and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. See ya. Bye.